Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 92 and today I have a new episode of my National Squad Builder series. As you can tell by the title of the video and the name of the squad, that's actually going to be Greece. And as a quickly set up and quickly look for Greece and the uh, formation I'm actually running is a 451. This squad was actually recommended by one of my long term subscribers, Brian Az. He was, I think, my 21st subscriber, so that's quite funny now, uh, 200 odd subscribers later. Uh, he's left in us good suggestions, so if you want to. Uh, as nation reviewed make sure to leave it down in the comments just like brian has did and eventually i will get to it but this goalkeeper and the right back there's not too much to say about them they're kind of like average the right back is really tall though which was really helpful and he's got quite a good pace he's not great but he is kind of there for the bed the cross he's at the back post he's good at clearing away our first informed center back has no chance of going to try and say that name he's at 70 pace 83 defending and 8 head and actually because I can't see his name, I call him King Leonidas, like from the free, uh, Spartan movie. Because <laughs> I think he just kind of looks like him a little bit. This is Sparta. No, I cannot believe I just done that on YouTube. Anyway, we're going to roll into the other informed centre back, and he's actually from the German League as well. When I actually was looking for centre backs, I thought they were kind of the same person, like just transferred cards or something like that. I didn't realise there were two, because it's quite funny, two uh, Greece players in the German League with two informs. But the Got very similar stats and really good. A left back, he's got uh, he's kind of an overall good player. He's not the fastest, but he's kind of got good defending. He's also got 70 shooting, which is quite a surprise. A right mid, however, is someone with a lot of pace. Well, on on card, it does say he's got 90 pace and 80 shooting, but his pace does not feel that great at all. And his shot is really not that great either. No idea why it says that. But one man that does live above his stats is. I'm not even going to try this name again. Everyone knows him. He's the five-star skiller. Someone I really wanted to use in the squad. Kind of built the squad around him. He's my first signing in the squad. Really enjoyed playing with. Right or left foot, he's really good. And he's obviously that five-star skills. My centre mid's another five-star skiller. Uh, Fitakis, I think that is. Woohoo, I've named one in the entire squad so far. But he's in a five-star skiller as well. He's got great stats. He loves to go forward. But there is a kind of option you can do. I'll quickly show you because when he's playing, he's got a high attack and work rate. So all the all our like centre attacking mids left right are all pushing forward. But if you're kinda of want a more defensive approach, there's this man here right here to plug in. But I like to go all out gun hole, all out attack. I like to score goals, so I like to have him in there. We're rolling on to our next centre attacking mid now, and that's Karagunas. There's two in a row now. 75 pace and 80 shooting. Overall good players. International money to catch obvious a uh, match card, sorry. Obviously for the Euro. I think the goal against Russia to put them through it uh, while it was up. Our left mid is, oh god, say Chris Papadopoulos. I'm gonna go with that. That kind of sounds like the kind of names like uh, fanboys like Ronaldinho, like they call himself Le Leonardo Dino and things like that. They kind of like just try and transfer their name into like a long one. So I don't think that's his real name. That's a mistake. <laughs> Somebody's got to be kidding. <laughs> Our striker is actually going to be Big Georgie Samarath from Celtic. He's kind of a turkey in real life, but no idea why he's got this in form. But he's... What can I say about him? In this game, like, he'll have a great game and he'll score like a hat trick and everything will come off. And in the next game, he'll just be so slow and sluggish and get pushed off the ball and miss sitters. I did find myself subbing him out a lot towards the second half, about the 70th minute, because he does retire really easily. And he's obviously and he's very injury prone as well, which was quite disappointing. But he is when he is on form, he's an absolute beast, and there's not stopping him. As you could probably read, there's the pros, the cons, the weaknesses, the best surprise, all that good stuff. So while you read that, can you make sure and hit that like button, lads? If we can reach 20 likes in this video, that'd be fantastic. But as always, I've been CJ Novo 92. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.